I think you'll love this podcast episode. We're about to meet Sue and I interview her and we discuss infrared saunas. And she talks about the life-changing positive effects that infrared sauna treatments have provided her with her inflammatory arthritis. She has done infrared sauna every day for the past 12 months. And so you're going to love the interview with Sue in just a moment. But first, I want to show you that there is a study back in 2009 uh, published in the Clinical Rheumatology Journal called Infrared Sauna in Patients with Rheumatoid Arthritis and Ankylosing Spondylitis, a pilot study showing good tolerance, short-term improvement of pain and stiffness, and a trend towards long-term beneficial effects. And I've highlighted here that the conclusion of this study was that infrared treatment has statistically significant short-term beneficial effects and clinically relevant period effects during treatment in RA and AS patients without without enhancing disease activity. In fact, infrared has good tolerability and no adverse effects. Well, in just a moment, you will meet Sue. And as I said, she's had tremendous results, which are dovetailing with the results that are published here in this study back in 2009. So um, Sue and I know each other from rheumatoid support. We have a very large number, several hundred people who are all following the Patterson program uh, and are helping each other inside the rheumatoid support platform. So it's not just private coaching, but it's also community support with each other. And uh, this is how we learnt of Sue's great benefits with infrared sauna. She was sharing with other members how well she was doing with it. And that's when I wanted to bring her on the podcast and help everyone worldwide to learn more about infrared sauna. So let's get into that now. Today, my guest is Sue, and she's all the way from the United Kingdom, where it's 6.30 in the morning. Uh, she's agreed to do this episode with me to talk about infrared saunas. We know each other because she's a member of Rheumatoid Support, and she mentioned to myself and other members how much infrared saunas had helped her with her inflammatory arthritis, chronic fatigue, and some other symptoms. So here we are to have a chat about infrared saunas. It's our third attempt at doing this. The first one didn't record, and my child ran into the background. So, Sue, let's hope we can get it done this time. But I'm lucky. <laughs> Now, I know your story already, but the listeners, this is fresh for them. So let's start at the start, which is why did you originally get an infrared sauna? I, um, prior to um, summer, summer last year, I had never even heard of infrared sauna. But then um, I happened to be in Malaysia and I was having um, some health issues, so I needed to um, see a doctor. So I went to see a doctor in my hometown. Um, and and we got to chatting and then um uh, so he was like so you have RA have you heard of infrared sauna so I was like oh well, no what's that and then he started mentioning about this um, rheumatologist in Malaysia um, in south of Malaysia who actually prescribed infrared sauna to uh, his patients so he 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 has it in his office um in his clinic and then um, then he would send his patient up to, you know. To, to have a um, to, to have a treatment and then so my uh, my doctor was saying that you know he just got one and then he's trialing himself and then he said to me that if you would like to try uh, before you go back to the UK and uh, you know feel free to do so you're welcome to do so so I thought that oh, okay so I have a few days left before I, before I will I was flying back to the UK so I said I'll, I'll do it so I started going in the morning and then at the time I was having, um, I was having uh, flare-ups every day and I, my mobility was pretty much restricted. And then, um, so I was, I, was, um, I was quite excited to try this. Equally at the same time, um, I wasn't a big fan of the traditional sauna. Uh, I, used, I used to find it quite stifling and, um, and it's quite claustrophobic for me. So I, I dragged my husband along to, to the appointment. 
And, and I said to him that, could you sit in front, in front of me, just, you know, just outside the glass door and then make sure that I was okay. I, I, in my head, I thought I was going to have a panic attack. You know, it's a small cabin and, and I was, and it's supposed to be really hot. So he sat through it with me and surprisingly it was, it wasn't what I expected at all. Um, no panic attack. <laughs> and it was really comfortable. I was sweating a lot, but I was comfortable. It's hard to explain. And then, um, so I sat through the half an hour uh, of the, the course of the treatment at the time and then um, went home and I just felt um, awake. I felt, um, I felt really good. And then um, my skin had cleared. I had spots on my skin um, that, that, that day to start with. And then it cleared. And then my moon face um, from biology treatment that I was, uh, I was having at the time um, it just, it's just, it's, it's just different. And it was quite instant. Like you can see it in your skin. And then as the day progressed, my mobility improved as well. And I could see the swelling on my feet, you know, had reduced. It, it was, it was quite visible because, um, it was hard for me to walk before that. Um, but the first time it was quite tiring and I slept. <laughs> the afternoon and it was it was a good nap though and then I slept better that night as well and I hadn't been sleeping for quite a while you know due to pain and things like that and then uh, I slept really well that night and then um, the next day I went again eight o'clock in the morning I was there and then and, and I, I felt increase uh, in my mobility so that to me that was the most obvious um, change and uh, so I think I did it for four days before I flew back to the UK. And then my husband, once we got back, my husband was like, right, we're doing it. We just, we'll get it. So, um, so we ordered it, it came. And then and since then I've had it every single day, apart from the time that I've been away from home, obviously. Um, but it's, 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 it's just been God sent for me. Yeah. Which model did you buy? It's called Sunlighten. Sunlighten. Yes, uh, so that's the exact one that my doctor has, and then uh, his was a three seater, so we got a two seater so that we can both do it at the same time if we want to, and um, also because it just gives us a bit of a room to move. I just find that the one seater was a little bit scary for me, but um, but um, so yeah, it comes in uh, from single seater to two seaters, three, and then I think I think you can have up to about five to six people. Wow. So depending on what kind of space you have. So um, I've got it in my um, tiny office upstairs at the moment and, um, and it, it just works for me. So it's next to my bedroom. So I have no excuse not, not to use it. Uh, my husband makes sure of that. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so it's, it's been brilliant. Um, you mentioned two-seater. Is it literally you sit down in it? Like you have an actual seat, uh, and and is that seat something that comes with it that you construct or put together, or is it you can take a take a seat in with you? How does that work? It's a bench. So, um, so if you imagine a little cabin, wooden cabin, um, like a shed, and and um, and it's sort of wide enough for two people to sit on a bench, and then um, and and it's got a glass door, and uh, and sunlight then comes with a um, screen where you can watch uh, you're connected to the internet and you can watch Netflix <laughs> I know <laughs> or you can listen to the radio um, uh, so I sit there so it's not really hardship <laughs> so you just sit in the, you sit in there and then you just watch your program so um, for half an hour or you listen to the radio or a podcast or you know watch Amazon Prime or surf YouTube <laughs> My gosh, it's way better than I thought. I had no idea. I had no idea. And and we hadn't got to this part of our conversation. So if anyone's thinking this is disingenuous, no, I had no idea that you could watch television or surf the internet in your sauna. Um, so that's why, you know, it's not, it's not really a hardship for me. I take it as my me time in the day. Yeah. So where I go, lock my office door and then yeah. just spend that half an hour to just um, be. And um, wow. so I think um, mentally for me, it's been really good as well. So 
I'm one of those person who just sometimes I forget to pace myself and then it could be go, go, go. So it, this forced me um, to heal and also give myself some time. So it's brilliant. So you've mentioned you've mentioned that it, just now the mental calmness and mental sort of peace that it provides. It, you said improved sleep, visibly less swelling, and you said of all things though mostly improved mobility. I mean, this is this is the sort of stuff that drug companies would only dream of if someone could create a drug that could do all those things. Um, is there any side effects? Have you noticed anything that you worried about? No, I haven't. And bearing in mind, I've been using this um, every day um, mm. since the end of summer last year. So I haven't. And for me, it's only... If if I were to miss um, sauna for whatever reason, let's say I'm away from one because we travel quite a lot and then except for this year, because of, you know, yeah. and then uh, um, and I, I know I, I, I would be missing it. Yeah. Um, because I, because I, I, know, I know how I feel once I, every time I walk out, you know, in the sauna. And then um, it sets my day in a way. Yes. And then, or if, I, if I'm not able to do it in the morning, if I do it in the morning, it would be for pain relief, especially because it helps with the stiffness, especially in the winter. And I think that's what we talked about before, um, how I went through the winter without um, any treatment at the time. And... Um, and it was the, the only different thing to what I was doing at the time was having infrared sauna and it made mm. massive. And, mm. and, uh, yeah. So on a scale of one to 10, where 10 being really, really incredible and one being not very helpful at all, where would you rate your infrared sauna? That's easy for me. It's 11, if that's allowed. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I have no um, marketing agenda in this yeah, or anything. Sure, it's, sure. it's just it's just genuinely my experience. And to think that um, before July last year, I'd never even heard of it. And, and now I, this is part of my routine, it's part of my life. And, and I can tell the difference if I'm not doing it. Um, mm. You know, I, I can tell the difference. And if I, for example, if I were to have... Um, a difficult night and then I would wake up and then I have stiffness in the morning and I find it really difficult to walk or to move. And then all I need to do is just crawl out of bed and then, um, and then jump into the next room, sit in it mm-hmm. for half an hour. Mm-hmm. And then I am able to function. So basically mm-hmm. I went from not being able to do school, right? Especially in the winter, mm-hmm. um, not being able to wake up in the morning until about 11 o'clock to being able to function. And that's, that's huge. Um, have you ever, uh, have you measured your C-reactive protein or said raid, any inflammatory markers sort of mm, during the infrared period um, compared to the non-infrared period? I mean, have we got any sort of any data that we could use to even support this even further? Well, I've got data, but for me, in my case, it's not really useful because I have zero negative and um, mm. uh, arthritis. And from the from beginning of since since I was diagnosed, um, blood test has never been a big indicator. But um, every time I go back to Malaysia, I would get blood tests done whole, um, yeah, yeah, because I have a doctor who looks after me and. I don't know whether this is helpful, but um, the only difference that we noticed was that in when I went back during that time in um, in July, I had blood tests, and then um, my ESR and my CRP were they were normal, normal. Mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. only difference was that my anti nuclear factor was uh, positive. So that means, I think what it means is that I there's an autoimmune activity going on. So that's mm-hmm. the only indicator that you know. Wow, that, that, that something's wrong. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and, then, mm-hmm. and then I went home again in December. So I, last year I went home twice and then uh, and I had another blood test. And um, and again, my CRP ESR doesn't, uh, didn't show anything. But my doctor rang me on Christmas Day <laughs> because my anti-nuclear factor was negative. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I, yeah. Yeah. And I said, Doc, it's Christmas. What are you doing? He said, No, no, no. 
let's not talk about anything else. Let's go right to the end of this page because he uh, sent me by WhatsApp my test result. He said, I just have to tell you this because this is, this is exciting news. And then he showed me the, and, and, you know, and, and my anti-nuclear factor result. And it was negative. He said to me, whatever it is that you've been doing, keep doing it. And by that time, I hadn't had biology treatment for four months. So I was flying just solely on infrared sauna and the way I was eating. <laughs> so I was thinking that, did it? I don't, well, I mean, I'm not saying that it is, but I'm just saying that it made a difference in my yeah. well-being. Yeah. So. yeah, that's remarkable. You know, absolutely remarkable. Um, so we've covered off if there's any side effects, not that you're aware of it. I mean, it improves all of these aspects of your health. Um, you've seen blood evidence that you can at least suspect maybe due to infrared sauna, or even if we might not be able to conclude that, there might be, you know, there's certainly the blood, the blood work certainly isn't going in the wrong direction. We can say that with great confidence. Um, and you have a two-seater, so you can uh, have room if you wanted to sort of shuffle about. If you're a little uncomfortable, you can move side to side. Um, now, uh, let me just give, try and check off a few more questions that some people might have and I, and I might have. Um, is it easy to set up? Is it something that, it, or is it like an IKEA kit that comes to your home and is it challenging to set up? And can you do it on your own, even, even if you have some challenges with inflammation in your joints? We, uh, we did it ourselves. So it was basically dumped in our driveway in, little, in pieces. And then, so if you imagine, it's like putting together like a puzzle, jigsaw, like puzzle, right? Right. These pieces, we hold them upstairs, just me and my husband, the two of us. And I did it. So, and, uh, and my husband and I, we are, we're not builders. We are ridiculously bad at it, but we built it. We got the roof up. We, um, we wired it up. You know, the, the instruction is very clear and the, Sunlight and the company, um, they were they were with us throughout. As in any question that we had, all we needed to do was ring or email them, and they were really quick at troubleshooting. But we didn't have any problem setting it up. And like I said, mm. we're not we're not very good with DIY. Mm. <laughs> I promise you that. And mm. we built it and then um, and carried it upstairs. I mean, you would need definitely you can't do it alone because you need to carry. So you have to. It would be nice if there's three of you yeah. <laughs> when you're propping the roof up, but we did it just the two of us while the kids were at school. So Okay. And, okay. Yeah. And yeah. what what about um, um, how do you do it mostly uh, 30 minutes each day in the morning mm-hmm. when you first wake up? So, for instance, straight yeah. after we're done talking, you might go and sit in there today. Um, and uh, have you noticed any difference with doing a little less or a little longer? Have you experimented with duration? Duration, um, because it's, um, there's a preset program, six of them, and then um, and also you can customize your own program. But I've normally used um, cardiovascular is the longest program in for this one. Um, it's 45 minutes. And if I have the time or if I have the wheel, <laughs> I would sit through it. And someone's awake. <laughs> and then I would sit through it. Um, and... But I find that if I were to do um, cardio or the weight loss, which I find like mini cardio, which is half an hour, um, I find that, after, you know, it's, it's, it's just like after you've done a vigorous workout during the day and then it wakes you up. And then at some point during the day, you feel like, oh, you feel too relaxed because you've just done a workout and then you would sleep well that night. Mm-hmm. And um, where else for the uh, pain relief, it's half an hour, same duration of time. But the difference is, because um, they use a uh, near, far, and mid uh, infrared light, and right. then uh, so and, and then I think it has diff- different effects on the body. So for the for the pain relief, I find that I don't get um, sleepy or I don't get you know you know that after workout kind of um, exhaustion. I, I I I I'm fine throughout the day. So it. it it does the pain relief job for me and 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 I just you know go through my through my day. So I find that if I were to do cardio to start with in the morning, by three o'clock I might feel a bit like, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. nice to yeah. just get a bit of a nap. So I so then I tweak it. So I would do programs like that 
in the evening before mm. bed. Then I would sleep like a baby. Um, and you do sweat a lot during that half an hour? Yes, I do. Um, yeah, that's the strangest bit because, because you feel comfortable, but you are sweating profusely. Right. And um, um, when you would come out, you definitely have to have a shower after that, straight into the shower after. Yeah. I see. And, I see. Um, have you ever experimented with any uh, hot, cold approach? Have you, have you seen any, or do you have any inclination to then try a cold shower afterwards for a lot of people who are experimenting with that? Oh yes, I um I started doing um the Wim Hof yeah. challenge. Yeah, I started that about four weeks ago, mm-hmm. and then um and since then I've done it every day. So sauna, in, I'll I'll do sauna first thing, and then um and then when I shower, then yeah. I would then oh I would do yoga after that or whatever activity. Oh, I also I should mention this also clean that um I've noticed that. Because I have no access to Bikram Yoga at the moment, and I, I used to do it in the past. And then the, the local um, centre has closed down, so the nearest we have is in London. So it's a bit too far. Um, uh, but um, I noticed that I would I tried doing sauna first, and then I straight away <laughs> I started doing the yoga. You know, uh, Bikram Yoga at home. I find that it's so much easier to do it. Um, to do the pose for me, so my body's left stiff. So it's, all, it's almost like it's um it's it's prepared my body yeah. before I, that go into all this um difficult pose, and then shower, and then then I have the cold shower blast, and um, that sets me up for the day. Wow. Okay. You, you you've got so many uh, great points of knowledge for me to ask the next couple of questions, which is really exciting for me. First question. Do you notice any improvement to symptoms by now adding the cold water afterwards or or, or are you still sort of um, uncertain as to whether or not that provides any further benefit than just the infrared treatment? I notice a difference. Um, it, um, I don't know whether the, so far whether there's any difference. Uh, it's added difference to my... Um, to my uh, um, the inflammation that I've got in my joints, I'm not so sure about that yet. But I do know in in the sense of um, the um, actually what am I talking about? The, uh, I, I've noticed that it wakes me up completely. It wakes my whole body up, and then um, and I notice that I move a lot easier when I come out of the shower. Do, um, I don't okay. know if that makes sense. okay. Okay, it's, so uh, obviously, just, obviously, if you've done just four weeks of it which is let's say it's 30 days where you've come out of a sauna and you feel nice and the sauna makes you feel nice and warm and then you've yeah. gone and had a cold shower. You wouldn't be still doing it after 30 days unless yeah. you felt that it was better than yeah. you because that's yeah, not the right. way you want to end a sauna normally unless, I mean, sometimes, don't you? So I remember being in a, in years ago being in a sauna and then wanting to jump into a swimming pool. I mean, there's a natural inclination to kind of, to, to yeah. do that, I, I, I guess, under some circumstances. But, uh, you know, if it's really cold, that's an entirely different but thing. But I don't want to put words in your mouth. So what, what are your thoughts on this, yes or no, to trying to add the cold afterwards? Yes. Okay. Because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not a big fan of cold, so I wouldn't have con- continued it. Like, yeah. um, And I'm still doing it. I, I do it by default, and um, and I can last longer now. So I do not. I don't have to set a timer because I can actually just comfortably carry on. And that's a, for me, that's a that's a massive difference as well. And uh, you know, where sauna just relax your body and just take away the stiffness. And then when you jump, and then you have this cold blast, it just then wakes you up, yeah. and it kind of complements each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then. My last question, at least, uh, on infrared saunas. Do you feel that the effect of the infrared sauna is as good as what you were getting before doing Bikram yoga? That's a good question. I think I would would say that um, it was the same. Yeah, it, uh, I think the effect was the same. Although I found that <laughs> Bikram yoga, um, 
you know, you get through it. And then right at the end, the last of us, and now you feel like you've been through a battle and you feel like a warrior, right? Um, but uh, it can be a bit stifling <laughs> for me. And then it is quite a, it's great, but it's quite a torturous uh, process. But um, in that sense, <laughs> I uh, I would sit in my sauna <laughs> any day I'll, I'll take it. but, but I, I think in terms of um helping you with your mobility and the ease of movement um i i think it's there it's the i i i find that the effects the same like i said i tried it um to do it before where my body is nice and supple and it's like then i went straight into doing uh, my bikram yoga and uh, there's a massive difference in doing that and not starting with the sauna before because I've done both. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, wow, that's really cool. And I guess the only thing that that common sense could could um, enlighten us on is that obviously, if you are also doing um, the Bikram yoga postures in a heated room, you are going to get more muscle development, and you are going to, you know, build more strength around the joints, the connective tissue. So. We know that there's obviously a tremendous benefit in that. And so I guess what that leaves us is if someone is not able to do Bikram yoga because the studios are closed at the moment through this COVID period, or if they're just immobile and it's just uh, too challenging to get to a class or they're just not really wanting to do a class, this is a fantastic alternative uh, to be able to get all of the benefits that you've suggested with uh, with very little apparent yeah, downside. No yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah. I mean, like I said, um, I think I had to stop because uh, the studio, uh, my local studio is closed down. And then uh, if not, I think and this, this was before COVID. And I think that I would have probably continued going if it wasn't that and um, and then I did this experiment uh, of yeah. doing infrared sauna and then and then become yoga that that happened during COVID and then uh, during lockdown. So yeah. I thought I thought I'd give it a shot and um, and for me there's a difference between having that heat and not having that heat. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it it, it affect the smoothness of your posture and the ease of doing it especially on the days that you're not very, um, uh, very, very mobile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, hopefully we've covered off most of the questions that people have had about this or didn't even know they had but uh, are interested to, to hear about. My last question, uh, a little bit off the infrared sauna specifically and more just uh, connect with you. Um, I, I, you mentioned that you're in between biologic treatments. So you, are you planning on on resuming one of those treatments, or is this all still um, work in progress with your rheumatologist? Um, I was in between um, itinacept, and so I came off itinacept um, last year, I think, um, and end of summer last year, and then um, and I started uh, Humira in lockdown. Um, the first week of lockdown, which was um, end of March. And um, unfortunately, um, I didn't do well on it. Um, I think I was reacting quite violently to the treatment. And then um, so I've decided to come off the um, the treatment. At, um, I think it was end of April, end of April. And then that's, that's when I actually found the Pedicine program. Um, I couldn't. I, I had. I had no contact with my rheumatology or with the, with the team at all because uh, because of COVID at the time. So, so I was completely on my own and I didn't know what to do. And I actually posted on my Instagram page that this is what's happened and I'm not really sure what to do. And then one of the uh, Pedicine program follower uh, randomly sent me a message, commented on that post. It was just. I think it was fate. And then she said that, I'm really sorry that you're going through this. Have you heard of the Pedicine program? So um, I said, no, but I am going to check it out now. So I did it. And then it was a no-brainer. So I started, I, I, I immediately started. It was Ramadan at the time. So um, as soon as we finished 
um, Ramadan, I went straight into clan space. Mm. Um, and so far, I mean, considering that I'm without treatment at the moment, um, mm. it's, it's going well for me. It's, it's going well. I'm not at the stage yet where I'm completely pain-free, but I'm in a, in a much better place than I was last month. And so I had a chat with my rheumatologist and I've asked, I said, I said, you know, because they then started suggesting that, have you tried this? Have you tried this? Have you tried? And I said mm-hmm. to them that I've tried majority of that and it, mm-hmm. they did end well for me. And then um, if, if I may, I'd really like to give this program a chance. So mm-hmm. we parted, with, uh, uh, well, she said to me, um, we'll give you six months. So my next appointment is in, December and then see how you get on the program mm-hmm. and then if there was any problem um, give us a call so at the moment no medication I, I my preference has always been um, not to be on it because purely because of the experience that I've had yeah. on mm-hmm. on different treatments yeah okay yeah thanks for sharing that um, I uh, I you know was just curious about that based on uh, you know what you'd brought up earlier about how you had stopped the drug and I was just wondering about whether or not the plan was to resume. So uh, there's some good things for us to work on inside rheumatoid support. And so thank you very much for sharing this stuff about infrared sauna. It's been awesome. You know, you've really, really made my, my given me uh, inspiration to want to go and get one myself, um, especially because one thing you said, which I think was on a recording that, that didn't work or that, that where my children kept coming in, which was that sometimes you have date night with your husband in the infrared sauna and you sit together. Um, you know, that sounds like a lot of fun. Watch some Netflix and sit together in the infrared sauna and then sleep like a baby. It all sounds so good. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Let's wrap it up and I just want to really thank you again. The information you've given and your personal experience has all been really valuable. So thank you. Thank you.